heavyweight. Clark! Ben Stiller. He takes over the camp. You know one thing about Ben Stiller? No matter how still you've been, he's Ben Stiller. <laughs> yeah, check it out right here. What up, Tyler? This boy, Lil White, man. You're going to see me on the Man Up podcast on uh, August 27th, is that right? Yeah, August 27th, man. Love, brother. Let's get it. That's that little white, son. We got a little white on the podcast August 27th, son. Woo! Oxycontin, Xanax, bars, Percocets, and Lord Tab, baby, morphine patches, ecstasy, and it's all up for grabs. Damn, it's probably gonna be awkward as fuck. We're gonna be all fangirling. Probably your best not to fangirl. How the fuck am I not gonna fangirl? I'm just gonna fangirl. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna talk about how awesome he is for an hour, and then we'll end the podcast. Haley got me a world's best boss mug. It's weird, because... It was like less than a year ago, I was thinking, I always wanted an employee to buy me a world's best boss. Because you can't, you can't pull a Michael Scott. I think that pretty much sums it up. And buy your own world's best boss coffee mug. I found it at Spencer Gifts. That's off-putting and weird. You can only use a world's best boss coffee mug if an employee bought it for you. You also can't do it if like your wife bought it for you, your kids bought it for you. They can do best dad or best husband, but... You know, the coffee cup's got to come from the people it applies to. Now I'm just going to walk around like Michael Scott with my Thunder Mifflin. World's best boss coffee mug. Pretty stoked. I found got it at Spencer Gifts. It's my favorite part of the show, when he says that. First episode, right? Yeah. 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 Episode. It's like, it's, all, it's pretty much sums it up. Yep. Got it at Spencer Gifts. <laughs> Love that show. That's my, that's my comfort show. That's my comfort show. Yeah, I'm like if, I'm, if I don't know what to turn on and I just want to like... Laugh. Enjoy and laugh at a something and not yeah, really need to nice. follow the plot or you know yeah. That's my go-to show. I also like Parks and Rec, um, but I have a slight preference for The Office. Parks and Rec is a little bit more of a goofy type humor whereas uh, The Office really leans into the cringy humor <laughs> like the awkward humor and I really like awkward cringy humor I don't know if y'all noticed from watching this channel, but I really like awkward and cringy I think because I'm awkward and cringy. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go to work, guys. Sometimes my, uh, yeah. my coaching, I'll just tell my student what the other person is doing. Oh, yeah. Instead of like telling them what to do, I just be like, he's trying, he's going for an underhook. So it makes you hey, sit back. To do. And that'll make him, that'll make them super frustrated. And then I'll hear the coach yell, and then I'll yell what the coach is yelling that he's about to do. Hey, stop him from doing that. Put him in a triangle. He's gonna go for a triangle. He's gonna go for a triangle. They get so mad. I can imagine. I get mad about that too. People do that to me. People have done that to me before too, and it pisses me off. That's how I knew it worked. I had a parent almost try to fight me. You remember that time that parent got so mad at me? They were up on points and in a neutral position they were on like on top in guard or something and uh it was like 15 seconds left they were up by like eight points so i was just like hey buddy i'm not telling you to stall but stall <laughs> and just ride the clock and that made the other kids <laughs> parents very upset you don't get mad at football coaches when they call plays you know what i mean like nobody gets mad at football coaches when they tell the quarterback to kneel it yeah that's the same thing. We're just we're just kneeling. So this is gonna be our opening move. Come here, Wes. So we're gonna be starting him down here. I'm gonna be on a single leg. And I've got my gable grip. He is going to go for his Kamara grip from here. So he got, he covered he's going under my armpit, he's covering my wrist, and he's covered here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift and up to this foot. I'm gonna shift, and I just need to shift him enough to make him base this hand here, okay? Once that happens, that gives me the room to back my ass out, kind of at a circle, and peek my head out here. And then I can be thinking about going up to the back. So it's a real simple move. It's just real simple. I get here, he, got, he starts going to look for that uh, Kamara bone. I start bumping him forward. My head comes out to the back. Okay. Pretty good. Let's hit that a few can times. You One, just two, stay three. there, Will. It was seeming like a good little family portrait of some stepbrothers right now. <laughs> you want that to be your profile picture? Please. I got you. Please. If you ever have a girl compliment your nuts, it feels like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how it feels. Like she sees your package, just like, oh, you have nice. That's like, that's like nuts. <laughs> 
biggest shot of the whole baseball thing. Your boy right here, same thing. I had a hernia. And I, I had enough intestines fall down on my nut sack. And that sucker looked like I had a softball in my sack. No bullshit. I thought that I had the biggest nuts in the world till I was in my early 20s and had to have surgery. I had it from the time I was 14 until I was in my early 20s. I fought like six MMA fights with it. I thought I had just huge nuts that sometimes went back inside of me. Joe saw it. Joe, you know that big old nut I used to have? Don't, don't. How many times did you see that big old nut? I show that thing every time I had a chance, brother. I mean, that's why you didn't get the surgery. Is you're like, well, it just. I just got big. I just thought I had ginormous nuts. Well, I thought I had one ginormous nut and one regular size nut, and then I got to thinking maybe I have cancer because look, mine was so big. I went to the doctor, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly what the doctor said when he saw it. His exact words. Whoa! <laughs> no shit. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> what you mean, whoa? <laughs> and then he was like, he was like, we need to go get you tested to make sure it's not a tumor because we've never seen a hernia that big. And I was like, uh, what? <laughs> you telling me I'm gonna have ball cancer? <laughs> he brought other doctors in to look at it. <laughs> four, four people. <laughs> One girl. It was a guy doctor and he was like, I gotta get somebody in here to look at this. So he went and got the whole staff of the clinic and they all, he was like, guys, y'all gotta see this shit. And brings them all in there and they're all just gathered around and I'm just sitting here with my, with my dick pulled to the side. Cause... And of course, of course you're slapping thigh every other day, but that day your dick's like, don't mess with me. You know? Let's go.